realise how actually your network is really important to you in lots of different ways. But traditionally, we haven't had easy ways of managing that network. It's always been difficult to keep in touch with people. You know, I, I often think back, but recently I reconnected with somebody on LinkedIn who I was actually out for dinner with him last night. And uh, he's quite a big LinkedIn user, and that's how I came across him. But I actually went to college with him 20 odd years ago. And, um, and we're now doing business together. And it did make me think, crack, if I kept in touch with everybody that I went to college with, what would they be doing now? And how useful might that be to me now? And then you go a step further and you think, well, actually, everybody that I then worked with in my first job, what would they be doing now? And how many of those are I in touch with? Not many. And I'm sure everybody can relate to that. Yet we understand that a network's important. But how do we keep in touch with them? And it's only really with things like LinkedIn that we're really able to do that effectively. Okay, numbers wise, um, we're up to 65 million users now in the world on LinkedIn. 65 million business people in the world are using LinkedIn. In the UK that's about 3.6 million, which is a reasonably impressive figure. Um, more impressive is the growth rate. The growth rate is now at about 3 million people every month signing up to a new account on LinkedIn. That's about just a little bit more than one a second, apparently. I went to um, a function uh, that LinkedIn threw last year, and they had a big um, projected globe on the wall. And this was an interactive um, feed of new users. And what happened was, on this globe, as somebody signed up to a new account, a little line came out of the place on the world, and a box opened at the end of it, with the name of the individual and where they were based. And I tell you, it was staggering to watch. It was literally going like that all the time. Line, name, 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 name. Right across the world. Three million people every month. In the UK, that's about 100,000 people every month signing up to a new account. Okay, We're already at 3.6 million. Imagine where we'll be in 12 months' time. Imagine where we'll be in two years' time. Staggering numbers of people because the average user on LinkedIn is 41 years old with 15 years' experience and a decision maker in business. Now that profile may change in the future. We may find that more junior level people start to use LinkedIn. But at the moment, the vast majority of people on LinkedIn are decision makers of some kind in their businesses. So I guess from your point of view, the question you might want to ask yourself is, does that look like an audience that would be of interest to me in my business? And if it does look like an audience that would be of interest, you need to be using LinkedIn because you have the opportunity to reach those people. Okay, now this slide is really important because um, a lot of people ask me about how this thing really works. <coughs> and also an observation of mine is that a lot of people don't really get this either. So I want to make it really clear. Um, and the easiest way I think is using graphics. Now this is actually a graphical explanation of how MySpace works, not how LinkedIn works, but it's the same thing. Okay? Um, the mechanics are the same. The difference, and the key difference is, <laughs> That in MySpace, we refer to people as friends, and in LinkedIn, we don't have friends. We have connections, okay, and it's different. Um, but the mechanics aren't the same. So just to explain this, in the middle, we've got you, and you connect with people, which means that you might invite them, or they may invite you to connect. Okay, so that might be a case of that you meet somebody here today, swap business cards, go back to your office, look them up on LinkedIn, you see a lot more information about them than you'd ever get in a face-to-face -face, um, conversation here. And then you think, okay, this is someone I'd like to connect with. You send them an invite, they accept. You're connected. And they then become what's called a first-tier connection. Now, a first-tier connection is somebody on LinkedIn that you can now fully see. right? So they are entirely visible to you. Everything in their profile you can read. They're also somebody that you can send messages to. You can recommend, and they can recommend you. You can also forward other profiles onto them. And, most importantly, you can click on a link on their profile and see these guys, which are their first tier connections. So you click on that and you have a look, and you see anybody in there that you might know or have come across or might feel there's some benefit to connecting with. That's their first tier connections and your second tier connections. 
They're a bit different to a first tier connection. You can see them, they're entirely visible to you. So same in that sense, but in every other way they're different. You can't communicate with them. As far as the network goes, you're not allowed to send them a message unless you have a paid account or you share a group with them. Um, you can see their profile, but everything else is different. You can't recommend them, can't, can't send messages to them, can't send profiles to them. One other thing that's similar is that their first tier connections are also visible to you because they're your third tier connections. And a third tier connection, in effect, is pretty much the same as a second tier connection. The main difference is that the third tier connections, first tier connections, are not visible to you. Okay? So the only way that you can look at somebody's profile on LinkedIn is if they are a first, a second, or a third tier connection, or you share a group with them, or you know their name. Okay. So if I look someone up by name, I can see their profile fully. But if I search for someone, and they're outside of my network, first plus second plus third, I can't see them. And if I clicked, if I found them, it just said a name, uh, sorry, a, a job title and a company name. And I clicked on it and I went through it and said private. You don't get private profiles on LinkedIn. There is no such thing as a private profile. What that means is they're outside of your network. So we can make a very quick and easy conclusion from that, can't we? Which is that we can talk about 3.6 million people in the UK, 64 million, 65 million people worldwide. But in reality to you, LinkedIn is only as good as the size of your network. In terms of those people that you can reach, that can see you and that you can see them, it's only really those that are first, second and third tier and those that you share a group with. Therefore, an easy conclusion is you need to do more than this guy's done because he's only got four first tier connections. And that's a very small network, and therefore not a lot of people can see them. There are a number of other things that we talk about in, um, in my workshops about strategy of who you connect with. I'm not going to go into great detail about that today.